Now, KLBK's first warning weather with meteorologist Jack Maney. Today is another weather aware day and in fact it will probably be the most impactful day of winter weather that we're going to have out there this week. This morning starting out things are mostly dry but that is going to change later on this morning and into the afternoon as a heavier wave of precipitation that will be of the wintry variety frozen coming in later on into the morning. Right now 23 degrees northwesterly winds of 5 miles per hour will fall fully overcast and could even see a little bit of patchy drizzle outside, but mostly in Lubbock right now we are staying dry. Teens to the north, low 20s down south. Wind chill values in the mid teens for most of us and a few low 20s elsewhere, but it is just another chilly start to the day. Already starting winter precipitation down there in Snyder with some sleet and freezing rain. That's going to continue to spread towards the north and by the late morning we'll start to see more of that uptick in precipitation around the Lubbock area and it looks like it is going to be a bit of a nasty one. Winter weather advisories covering most of the South Plains yet again today and an ice storm warning around our southeastern border there. Dawson County up to King County, the city of Snyder, La Mesa. We've got the cities of Dickens, Jayton and Guthrie as well in that ice storm warning for ice accumulations potentially over a quarter inch and that is enough to cause some power disruptions and today's high is going to be very perilously close I would say to 32 degrees and that is going to complicate our forecast and lead to some pretty rapid changes in precipitation type throughout the afternoon. Expecting plenty of rainfall though, 60% chance of freezing rain and winds staying light throughout the day. We'll see those temperatures warming up through the morning by about noon. We'll be getting fairly close to freezing and up north we could see some of those cities reaching freezing. There's going to be a little bit less cloud cover up this way because those clouds are going to be and the precipitation builds in from the south. It'll take it a little longer to fully thicken up that cloud cover off towards the north and that could lead to them not seeing as much of an impact from this storm across our northern rows of counties. Expecting to stay below freezing down to the south and where that ice storm warning is and here in Lubbock really kind of comes right down to the wire whether or not we reach 32 degrees or not and if we don't it's going to be that much more impactful of a winter storm for us here in the hub city and that precipitation is expected to start 10 11 o'clock maybe as late as noon with freezing rain developing and pushing towards the north that transition line is going to be hovering just to the north of the Lubbock metro and out to the east we could we're expecting to see more of that freezing rain, a little bit heavier amounts as well. And through the afternoon, maybe a slight break after sunset before uh, yet more of that continues to build on in. And we might even try to get a transition over towards snow as we go towards sunrise tomorrow morning. Of course, this model is still still selling us on this, but right now not completely a unanimous agreement on where that snow might be and how heavy it's going to be, but maybe a little bit of a dusting on top of the ice that falls today could be possible tomorrow during the late morning hours. Here's our forecast ice amounts. Uh two to four tenths of an inch down to the south and east in that ice storm warning area and that's where we'll probably see the most widespread power disruptions. Here in Lubbock more of a road condition deterioration expected. We should stay on the tenth to two tenths of an inch range for ice accumulation and that will likely lead to less in the way of power outages but definitely bridges and overpass is going to be very slick and hazardous. We saw a video coming out of Dallas yesterday of people slipping and sliding all over the place. That could be us later on this afternoon, lesser amounts out towards the north and east, and that chance of snow overnight and into tomorrow morning up to an inch or so, but really the main impact is just going to be from that ice. The winter storm severity index showing limited to minor impacts here in the hub city. Further south and east you go, the worse it gets to a moderate impact from that freezing rain expected. Thankfully, at least winds are going to be very light through the event, so that'll help to keep from jostling around ice covered limbs and power lines and should at least help keep the power outages in the moderate category instead of really making severe disruptions to the power grid. The main feature really the worst impact we're expecting to see out of the system is impacts to bridges and roads with especially the bridges getting very slick and hazardous later on this afternoon. So we're going to want you to stay weather aware through through all of that wintry weather that's expected today. Tomorrow things will start to clear out in the morning. Th the system pulls east by midday. Cloud cover clears out and we'll have a nice warmer day up to 48 degrees reaching the 60s by the weekend and some much better weather coming up over the coming week.